Hello guys, you are welcome again to another After Effects Tutorials and today I want to show you how you can create a motion graphics logo animation right inside Adobe After Effects without the use of any third party plugin like this one. So support me on this one, like the video, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification, then come back, let's get started. Now inside After Effects, beforehand I already created a new composition to save time. I also added the logo and then pre-composed it on the timeline like you can see right here. And this is where we are going to start. So duplicate the pre-comped logo and pre-compose it again, then name this logo color. Go into the pre-composed logo layer, right click on your timeline there and then create a new solid. We're gonna name this color. Make comp size and then hit OK. Add a four gradient color. Now at this point, feel free to set your own color. Then toggle your timeline if you cannot see the track mat option and then move the logo up above the color and then set the solid layer track mat to alpha mat the logo go back to your main composition now hence we want to create some reflection we need a bump map in the future so let's create a bump map now select the logo holder layer again ctrl d on your keyboard to duplicate it we're going to stick pre-compose this one and call it bump map make sure you move all attributes to the new composition and then hit ok so we're still gonna go into the bump map composition, right click, go to layer style and add a stroke. Expand the stroke option, we're gonna make some changes, change the color to black and set uh, size to 66. Now let's go back to our main composition again. Now select the logo color, add CC color offset. Now we're gonna animate this color from two seconds or about just after one second so that the color will offset. So I'm gonna set a keyframe for all of these, for three of them. I'm gonna move to the end of the composition right here, close to the end somewhere around here and offset these colors. I'm just gonna simply offset them. And now you see that forward in time, the color is offsetting beautiful so we're gonna still add another effect we're gonna add the bevel alpha increase the edge thickness until you find something you like i'm gonna stop at uh, about 4.9 select the logo color and duplicate it i'm gonna remove the bevel alpha from this one and let's add the vegas effect to this layer expand the contour go down right here and set your colors i'm going to reduce the segments to two set threshold to about 25 that is going to give you this fine outline on the logo now we're going to animate the width and the rotation so we're going to move our time indicator to about two seconds forward in time and then set a keyframe for the width and then set a keyframe for the rotation so move your time indicator back to zero and set width to zero, rotation to negative two. Select your keyframes and then hit F9 to easy ease. Let's collapse this effect. So we're gonna add a glow effect to this layer. Select the glow effect and duplicate it. Then we're gonna adjust the radius. We can see some weird glow going on here that is happening to the vegas we're gonna go into it and fix that we're gonna change the blend mode to transparent that way we'll get rid of that weird glowing going on on the entire logo now we have only our stroke glowing now let's reveal the main logo so select the logo color again i'm gonna pick the ellipse tool to mask that out I'll just select this and max the entire logo out, something like this. Hit MM on the keyboard to reveal the mask property. 
go to about five seconds forward in time we can always adjust this and set a keyframe for the mask part then i will go back to about two seconds forward in time and move the entire mask out like this but now i have to hide the bump layer and the duplicated logo composition let's move the time indicator to somewhere around here so we're gonna increase the mask feather to something like this select your keyframes hit f9 on your keyboard to easy ease so now adjust your keyframe until the mask is showing at the right hand just about when this rotation is complete the rotation on this hit you on the keyboard to reveal the opacity then i'll set a keyframe for the opacity then i'll come up right here to two three seconds and set the opacity to zero that will give us this beautiful it is time to add reflection so we're going to create a reflection map and then add it to this logo so but to know how to do the reflection map i already have a tutorial that covers from beginning to the end and i'm going to do exactly just that you can watch the tutorial on the card above with your reflection layer ready this is what you're going to have what we're going to do now is to bring in the logo holder composition again on top of that then we're going to select the reflection map toggle our timeline so that we can see the track mat then set the track mat for this to alpha mat that is going to give you this so now we're going to set the blend mode to screen with our reflection layer still selected we're gonna add a cc glass effect and expand the surface option if you remember right from the beginning of the animation we created a bump layer this is where we're gonna use it so we're gonna select the bump map to that bump layer that we created which is the bump map so we're gonna set the softness to 15 set this height to 6 set the displacement to 8 let's add cc bubbleize expand the bubbliness set the bob layer to the bump map again set softness to 19 and set cut areas to 50 select the reflection map we're gonna determine when it should show just when the logo color appears so we wanna go to about four seconds forward in time and then hit T on the keyboard to reveal the opacity, set a keyframe for that, and then come back to about three seconds forward in time, and then change the opacity to zero. We're gonna add the logo holder composition again. If you like, you can use the duplicated one. So that is gonna give us this. So at this seven seconds right here, we're gonna hit T on our keyboard and set opacity. This is gonna give it an end so we we'll move here right about this point then and set the opacity value to zero if you preview now this is what you're gonna have so now let's animate our text select the rectangle too so i will simply draw a shape right here let's move this to the top of the text layer so we're going to set a track mat for this to alpha mat we're going to hit p on our keyboard to set a position then we'll come back to about six seconds backward in time and then set the y position up right in there So it is now time to give our logo some movement right click on your timeline go to new and add a new null object i'm gonna name this logo control i'm gonna select all the layers on my timeline right here and make it a child of the logo controller now i'll select logo controller and set a keyframe for scale at two seconds move back to zero 
and scale this up to about 200. Select your keyframe, hit F9 or your keyboard to easy ease. So the next thing we're going to do now is to create a background for our animation. Right click on your timeline and add a new solid layer. We're going to call this BG. So what I'm going to do is to duplicate that layer and then add the fractal noise. Set the fractal type to dynamic progressive. Increase the contrast and then reduce the brightness. Go to the transform tab. Increase this uh, size enormously. Go to the evolution tab. Alt click and then enter the time expression. Time asterisk. Now to the same layer, let's add a colorama effect. We're going to collapse the fractal noise option. Go to the output cycle, the output cycle preset and select the solarize red. Hit T on our keyboard and move to the point where the logo is turning white and set a keyframe for the transparency. Move forward in time and set the BG value transparency to zero that is going to end up with this right here so if we preview everything now what i did for the beginning right here in the first two seconds i added an adjustment layer and then add an optic compensation effect and then animated the field of view i also check reversed lens distortion and that is all and this is how you can create a motion graphics reflective logo animation in adobe after effect without the use of any third party plugin if you learn something new on this video please hit the like button that will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people if you have any question please feel free to ask me in the comment section and i'll reply to all questions as quick as i can if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to my youtube channel you can support me in any way you can give me super thanks subscribe to my membership whatever way you want to support me with even if you share the video that is also a huge support and it is highly appreciated if you like the video leaving a comment is all a support so with whatever way you are able to support me I highly appreciate you. So until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru from Motion Digit Studios.